What's up, everybody? This is Chris, and this is my channel, Barn on 11970. Thank you for taking the time to check out this video. And as you can see, with a lot of videos that I make, I try and get people to think more often and more for themselves. And um, I love doing that myself, especially these days, whether people understand it, believe it, or agree with it. Again, it's all about perception, in my humble opinion. And if that's what I believe, then for me, that's my truth. But I was thinking today about something as far as religion. And when you stop and see it in the bigger picture, when somebody points something out, it really sometimes makes you think about things in perspective. Because I've said things like, for example, if you look at a $1 bill, you'll see the words, in God we trust. When you go to court, and hopefully you never have to, but if you go to court and they have you put your hand on the Bible and say, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God, I've said in several videos, well, which God are they referring to? It's based on presumption and assumption. We're assuming that it's the same God that you may pray to or worship or believe in. When if you look at, for example, the symbols on a dollar, Nothing on that dollar suggests it's the God that you're referring to. Now, a lot of people also talk about a false God. They talk about something like, for example, Lucifer, whether this person or this angel or whatever you want to call him is real or not. I mean, all we can do is base it on a belief system because I seriously doubt any of you have any videos of you and Satan or Lucifer or whoever partying at some club or anything. So it's all based on speculation and your belief system and your own perception of things. But if you think about the whole concept of the quote-unquote good versus evil, quote-unquote God versus the devil, you see that, for example, the name Lucifer, false light, you always see how um, the story goes he's basically jealous of man, and he wants to be God or be worshipped as a God. And I wonder if we as a society get tricked into thinking in the wrong way about which God is good and which God is bad. Now, let me give you an example. How many times do you see people at the church or in movies and things like that where they're always showing somebody bowing down to a God? Now, if you were an ever-loving God, a God of light, of the true person the creator, whether this is real or not, I can't prove it. I'm just saying for argument's sake. If there is a God that created all things and loves all things and it's unconditional love, do you think that particular quote unquote God would want his subjects bowing down to him or her? Or do you think he or she or it created the free will to just feel love? Now, if you see any movie, like, for example, if you watch the Avengers movie and you see Loki, who is the god of tricksters, or you see any of these evil characters, they always want people to bow down and get on their knees. But you never see the heroes do that, do you? I mean, just watch the first Avengers movie. You see how Loki, he tells the people in that city to all kneel before him. Do you see Captain America doing that? or Thor, or any of the heroes, it seems that the good guys never ask the people to bow down before them, because they view them as maybe equals, or at least unworthy of having to kneel. And yet, we see the evil people always wanting you to get down on your knees. So, ask yourself this. When it comes to religion, a God that makes you get down on his on your knees to give your servitude to them. Do you really think that's a God of love? Or do you think that's maybe a God, a false God, or a God of deception? Now, obviously, if you don't believe in any gods at all, this story is going to be completely irrelevant to you. But again, these are hypotheticals. This is just questions. Nothing wrong with asking questions. Whether somebody gets annoyed about it or not, I can't control that. But stop and think about that. If you were the almighty God and you loved your creation, do you make it bow down? Would you want them to bow down to you? Would you even need that? 
Or if you are someone evil and you're trying to convince people that you're almighty and all powerful, would you want to force them to get down on their knees and give up their servitude and worship the ground you walk on? Maybe kiss your ring finger? Think about it. Let's hear what you have to say about that. If you appreciate my thoughts, whether you agree with them or not, you at least appreciate the fact that I make them. Thumbs up always shows support. Let's hear your comments. And uh, hit the old subscribe button and be a part of this channel. But uh, never stop thinking. Nothing wrong with that. Even if you may not agree with what I say or like me as a person, we should all have the ability to have our own thoughts. So I'd love to hear what you think about this. So let's hear your comments. And thanks for watching.